Takeover. I'm your host, Tisha Brian, along with the King of LA Sports, Richard Lopez. And if you are looking for your daily sports fix, then you have come to the right place. How you doing, King? It's great. We've been it's been we've been off of camera for a little while, you know. Yeah. Um, conquering other ventures. Yes. But you know, it's good to be back. You yes, know? it is. It's great. So much to talk about. You're gonna have to tell me to shut up. Okay, no problem. All right. <laughs> Let's hop right into what we have uh, today, which is going to be the NFL. Yeah. And we're going to talk about the training camps, who did what, who made moves. So let's uh, jump right into it. What do you have for us today? Um, well, the training camps got underway. Mm -hmm. You know, the NFL, a lot of things happening in the training camp. But the one that stuck out to me is now, for, as of this year, the NFL will be taking urine samples from everybody in the NFL to mm -hmm. do studies for HGH. There goes Seattle. There goes San Francisco. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> there, goes, wait, hold up. there goes almost every NFL team. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, because let's be real. A lot of these people, they, you know, everyone takes something. And just as they have NFL, I just found out last year, and this totally surprises me, they just barely are going to start testing for HGH, which means that these guys are playing the most violent sport out there, mm -hmm. and they could just be all juiced up. Juiced up. Juiced up. It's, yeah. it's crazy to me. But, you know, I think that's for the, you know, the better of the sport. Mm -hmm. You're going to get these guys, like, you know, if they don't deserve the money, you know, they, let them get it naturally. Mm -hmm. Do your thing, you know, show these kids out there the right way to do things. Mm -hmm. And I think that it'll be good for the sport, you know. You're going to see a lot of, I hate to say it, a lot of our heroes and a lot of our great athletes, they might be going down in flames soon. Yeah. Well, no. What did Charles Barkley say? I'm not a role model. So, you know, you shouldn't yeah. be looking up to them anyway. But I, I totally agree. I think do the testing. Um, see who's dirty, see who's clean, and reward those uh, people accordingly. You know, yes, if you're clean and you're getting it done the right way, then you know, props to you. If not, then you take, you know, you're, you take your 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 punishment like a big boy. Put your big boy pants on, as yeah. Kobe Bryant said, uh, you know, said, and yeah. you just take the punishment that's dealt. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's gonna, it's going to open up a lot of eyes out there, and it's going to just be good for the sport of football. Mm -hmm. I think all these pro sports now are trying to take their foot forward and getting clean mm -hmm. and this is just a good step mm -hmm. you know it might prevent a lot of injuries maybe we'll see we'll see what happens yeah. so moving on um, Gino Smith mm -hmm. and Mark Sanchez a couple of things on them mm -hmm. first of all you got two different stories first Mark Sanchez says he invited Gino Smith to Jets West Camp in mm -hmm. California Gino denies that and then um, well to be honest, who, okay, who's going to be the starting quarterback for that team? I mean... What's going on there? Is there friction? Okay, so do, do they get want, along? Do you, do you want what should happen or what's probably going what's to happen? What's probably going to happen. What's probably going to happen is uh, Mark Schwann is going to go with his boy Sanchez. He has this bromance he has going mm. on with Mark Sanchez. doesn't matter how crappy he is. <laughs> As I said previously, he's always between somewhere between garbage and great, yeah. normally closer to garbage. He always gives him another shot. Why? Have no clue. He has not done anything... Cause USC. Let's just, let's just, no, no, come on, come on, come on. Let's just take it easy. Okay, I'm Guys sorry. from Southern California. He's he, from USC. He is, and that's why Low he Trojans. got, that's why he got the, the, the one little compliment. He's from SC. Yeah, that's and it. you know what? But everything that's else it. is true. He's right. playing like crap. Right, playing but like crap. But we just take it easy on him, you know? Okay. Poor guy. But, you know, I, let's, he's going to lose his starting job. Let's just throw that. He's going to lose it eventually. Time, you know, time will, Geno Smith is a great talent. Yes. I thought he should have been the first quarterback taken, mm -hmm. and he just happened to fall down to the Jets. I mean, yeah, Rex Ryan's going to be the problem because mm -hmm. if, if you haven't heard already, if you look at Rex Ryan on vacation, he has a tattoo of right. Mark Sanchez's jersey. jersey his wife has his, yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty sad. It's, it's kind of questionable it's if you scary, ask me. It's scary, actually. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> scary. So, But yeah, Geno Smith will be the starter for that team. Sanchez will, you know, we'll just look back and be like, remember Mark Sanchez? But, okay, but, okay, here's the only question or concern that I have. Yes, Geno Smith should start. Yes, he should, you know, head that team. But with Rex Ryan at the helm, with him calling the shots, is he really going to start? Because truth be told, Sanchez should have been pulled last year, and he didn't. He didn't yeah. pull him. So what's to say or who's to say that's not going to happen again this year? Well, I think Rex Ryan's job is definitely on the line this, this year. He got, you know, he got away with the fact that Sanchez's talent got hurt last year. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the way his get out of jail free card for this next year. Mm -hmm. So if he doesn't produce this year, he's gone. He's going to have to go back to being a D coordinator somewhere, get out of the spotlight, because right now it seems to me he likes the spotlight more than being a head coach. Mm. And if he needs to, you know, and it shouldn't really be his decision. Of course he's the head coach, mm. but these offensive coordinators they got, they need to step up and they need to get their input in because Sanchez just isn't cutting it. The butt fumble, 
the bump fumble. That's all that needs to be said. Number one on Sports Center's worst plays, and they're thinking about retiring it. <laughs> First video ever to be retired. The right. butt fumble. If you haven't seen the butt fumble, please look it up. Thanksgiving, national Thank TV. <laughs> national TV. Yes, it was. Okay. And so moving, moving on. on. <laughs> yeah. We're, before we get into Aaron Hernandez real quick. Oh yeah. Let's um. Let's talk about the Pouncy Brothers and their sh their support of Hernandez. You know, what do you think about that? I say, it's a free country. If you want to support Aaron Hernandez, support him. Free Hernandez. I mean, they freed Zimmerman. So why not free Hernandez? <laughs> so I'm just right? saying. I mean, so. hey, after that, you know, you never know you what never can happen know. out here. You never know. So, I mean, one of the brothers, they, you know, apologized, sent a public statement, you know, uh, saying they regret wearing the hat. But Yeah, Marquise from, from the Steelers, Marquise Pouncey, he but, apologized. But on the same note, as I said, it is a free country. If that's what you feel in your heart and if those what your views are, then so be it. I mean, you can't take a right, take away his right of free speech. Everyone has it. So if that's what he, he wants to do, then why jump down his throat about it, you know? There's, there's a whole lot of other things he could be doing that, um, that could get that same amount of attention. So he's, he's wearing a hat. Get over it. Yeah. You know, this, at the same time, you're a professional. You're an athlete. And this, you know, this guy was also in your company. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like you supporting someone from your own company that terrorized the company. Do you know what I'm saying? So the, in a way, as I understand personally, they're friends, I understand that, but come on, you can't do that. They're gonna, it's gonna piss a lot of people off. You guys are still making millions of dollars. Don't be ignorant like that, come on. That's just my point of view. I mean, it's one thing if they're out there supporting him, but don't go take pictures with people and make it out there like it's a big thing. I mean, this guy's as guilty as it gets, <laughs> almost. <laughs> it's like, you know, he's got people lining up. Like, can I tell? <laughs> can I tell, please? Well, please? I mean, you can look at it like that, but also his lawyer is saying all the evidence is circumstantial. It's he true. has not been to trial yet. He has not been convicted. So until he's convicted in the court of law, don't convict him outside yeah. in the public eye. That's all I'm saying. So mm -hmm. if he wants to support his friend and let his friend know that he has his back and he has his support through whatever trials and tribulations he's going through, he has that right. That's all I'm saying. And just for the record, Aaron Hernandez is not Mexican. Aaron Hernandez <laughs> is Puerto Rican. Just for the record, there's been a lot of confusion about that. Okay. <laughs> okay, just to clear the air, you know? Okay, well, thank you for clearing right. that up. All right. Next, we have what? <laughs> okay. There's been a lot of talk. You know, the Patriots, and we'll stick with the Patriots. Okay. You know, a lot of people are going to think I'm a little crazy for this one. Mm -hmm. But the question has to be asked. Mm -hmm. Since the Patriots signed Timmy Tebow a few months back. I love Tebow. But that's really when all the problems started happening. No. So, <laughs> no. what I'm going to ask is Tebow the real problem in New England? Is Tebow that's the real what we, problem? Yeah, that's what we got to find out. He was, a, he was a virus to the Jets. Oh, my God. Really? Virus to the Jets. <laughs> really? Yes. Virus to the Jets. Signs with the Patriots. Gets in all the, you know, these guys started getting in trouble. He was at the bar mm -hmm. where Hernandez mm -hmm. was when the no. fight started. You won't I mean. Stay. <laughs> but, hey, the, I mean, people might think I'm crazy, but it's got to be asked. Okay, first of all, you are on one today. And, oh, you know, let it be it asked. Is, it's I'm always on one. on one. I'm the king of all this. Woo! Tebow, I'm always on one. I'm here, to, I'm here to report Tebow what no one wants to talk about. It's the purest thing to hit the NFL since anybody. <laughs> no, not Timmy. Okay, Aaron Hernandez has been a troublemaker since before Tebow. Anybody even knew who Tim Tebow no, was? Him okay. and Tebow were good friends no. in college. Yes, they were. He, the, I'm, yes, I'm not disputing that oh, fact. Okay. However, Aaron Hernandez was getting in trouble way before then. Okay, don't let me pull out my Claire Huxtable. Let the record reflect. Ooh, he has see. been getting in trouble since 2005. Okay, so with that being said, Tim Tebow was not the problem. As far as the Jets go and Tim Tebow, that was Rex Ryan and his media circus. That had nothing to do with Tebow. Tebow wanted a fair shot. He was lied to. He never got a chance to prove himself as a quarterback to the Jets team. So that circus came for Rex Ryan and Mark Sanchez, not Tebow. Tebow is not the problem. The problem is people do not know how to act like adults. They do not have to know how to take responsibility for their own actions. That's the problem in New England, not Tim Tebow. Sorry. Well, you know, what I like to say is, you know, I don't quote from the Bible too much, and I'm not really <laughs> quoting from the Bible, but they do say that when the devil appears, he appears as, you know, as like your best friend or someone that is good to you, you know, and we'll leave it at that. The question just had to be asked. I'm not going to say if I truly believe it or not, mm -hmm. but we have to ask, is Tebow really the problem? No, Tebow, you are not the problem. Keisha Brion loves you, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I think, <laughs> well, we'll leave on, we'll leave NFL on that note. Okay. All right. <laughs> that is all that we have for you today on The Takeover. Until next time, may the sports be with you. And I'm Richard Lopez. You can find me on Instagram, uh, YouTube, and Facebook, and the King of LA Sports, and Twitter, Rich Lopez, K-O-L-A-S-E. Ms. Brian, where can they find you? Oh, I'm sorry. That would be YouTube at Keisha Brian. All right. Until then, don't be afraid to roll the dice. Have a good day.